Let's go ahead. Let's try this one out here. So straight to the question, guys. Straight to the question. How much should you expect to pay to ship the item? Okay. So is it fair to say, again, let me read that again. How much should you expect to pay to ship the item? Is it fair to say that I'm trying to ship something and I'm trying to figure out how much it costs? Is that fair? How much am I paying to ship the item? Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and just in my head, just say, hey, I'm looking for blank dollars to ship the item. Okay, that's what I'm trying to look for. The cost to ship it. You can call it total cost. Sure, that's fine. That's fine. But really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to ship this item and I'm trying to see how much it costs. I can imagine that. I think that this might make a little more sense to me because I like visualizing things. Let's read the information. Let's see if that's true. Let's see what we can learn here. So it says in the beginning, you'd like to ship an item that weighs one pound, six ounces. The post office charges $7 for the first 12 ounces and $6 per ounce thereafter. So we wanna know the cost to ship the item. So let me read that again. Without the numbers, it says, I'd like to ship this item, this is how much it weighs, and then they charge me for the first 12 ounces, and then they charge me for the excess, the extra. So everybody, can we imagine that there's gonna be a rule that we follow for those first 12 ounces, and then after 12 ounces, I follow a different rule. Is that kind of like what it's sounding like to you? I hope so. Cool. I hope so because that, that's truly what's going on here. Before we continue, just want to take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So with that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're gonna have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate, stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description, that way you see how it works, and then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. When they say, hey, 12, uh, $7 for the first 12 ounces, that means that this first part, these first 12 ounces, only paying seven bucks. Only paying seven bucks for this first 12 ounces. After that, all the way up to the grand total of one pound, six ounces that you're shipping, the difference there, you're, you're paying $6 for every single ounce. Which again, I'm not gonna verify if that's accurate, uh, accurate price tagging, but we are going to tackle this problem. So let's go ahead and highlight what we got here. You wanna ship the item and it weighs one pound, six ounces. Okay, so let's write that down. It equals one pound, six ounces. Okay, cool. So now that we have that written down, it says their rule again. Their rule was $7 for the first ounce, or the first 12 ounces, excuse me. So first 12 ounces, that's gonna be just a flat rate, seven bucks, flat rate. And then after that, it says $6 per ounce thereafter. So for after 12 ounces, that is $6 per ounce. So again, guys, there's a rule here that's going on. The first 12 ounces, seven bucks, that's it. Anything else, the excess, you're gonna multiply by six because one extra ounce, $6. Two extra ounces, $12. Three extra ounces, $18. So there's a multiplication going on there. $6 for each pound. So six times the pounds, or six 
times, excuse me, the ounces that'll get you that extra payment. So the only problem is if I'm looking at one pound, six ounces, that's not all in ounces, right? Exactly. Jesse, right on. Shaletta, Landa, yeah. We got to convert that one pound, six ounce. We got to convert that to just all ounces. Because if you look at the rules, the rules are just talking about ounces. So let's see what all of this is in ounces so we can figure out which sets follow which rules. So my first question is going to be this. My party people, uh, how many ounces is one pound? Appreciate y'all. You got to know these unit conversions. If you're going to sit here and ask me, coach, do I need to know unit conversions? Yeah, you don't get a calculator. You don't get a conversion sheet. You don't get anything. You're just throwing in there. You got to know this stuff. So here we have 16 ounces and we have six ounces right there. Oops, that's ugly. There we go. And so with that said, everybody, what's uh, 16 ounces plus 6 ounces? How many total ounces is that? Yeah, that's going to be 22 ounces total. We have 22 total ounces. Everybody, do we agree with that? One pound is 16 ounces. So we have a pound, 16 ounces, plus the extra six. We got 22 ounces. Once we're there. That's when we can start looking at this. Now we can look at that. Because if we have 22 total ounces, everybody, the first 12 ounces is seven bucks. How many remaining ounces do we have? Right, we have 10 remaining ounces. And the remaining 10 ounces, that's what's gonna be charged six dollars an ounce the first 12 chilling only paying seven bucks but after you cross that weight limit shippers like nah man gotta charge you every ounce after that's an extra six bucks and so we have 10 extra ounces so that's why we're gonna come over here and when we read that right there that's gonna be 10 times six and that's gonna be an extra sixty dollars does that make sense, everybody? Does that make sense to you? How we got the extra $60? Good. Good. Now let's go ahead and check here. Is the answer going to be C, everybody? Is that, was that what that means? The answer is C? Yeah? Sorry. Hey, 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 really quick before we continue, if you're watching this, you've likely already been to one of my classes. And if you haven't been to one of my classes, remember to check that schedule. The link is right up there and in the description of this video. That way you can understand when my free classes are and my access program classes are. That way you can keep raising your score, knowing what topics we're doing and get the job you want. So again, click there or in the description to see when the classes are and join one for free. I'll see you there, my party people. Let's get back to the action. It's not gonna be C. Because we need to remember, we still got charged seven bucks for the first 12 ounces. So it needs to add in, we need to account for that $7 from the beginning. So that'll be 60 plus seven, which would be $67. And boom, that's why A is gonna be the correct answer. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there. And you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe and raise your score.